Nikki, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are be go we are be going to <laughs> we are going to be doing a video that is on this look, this snowflake holiday eyeshadow. I'm obsessed. Um, this is out of my comfort zone a lot, but I'm so happy with it, and I just really wanted to try something different this holiday season. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, um, and it's really beginner friendly, I promise you, because I am not one who is into color, like blues and stuff. So if you guys want to see how I came up with this look, then please keep watching. If the video's ugly, it's because I had to record it this way, but I'm basically going to be recreating this part of my eye to this part. This is supposed to be a snowflake, but we're going to see. So, I've already done my eyebrows and I've already primed the eyes. So, what I'm going to do. Hold up, baby. I'm going to go into my James Charles palette. And I'm going to take the shade Cola, which is this deep blue right over here. And I'm just going to take this e.l.f. Um, blending eye brush. Am I right? Oh, just kidding. I'm going to take this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH40 brush. I'm going to add that and I'm going to create the shape that I want, which is going to be like a wing shape. But I'm just going to blend as I go and build up the color. And you want to do this slowly because you don't want the whole eye being this blue. So that's what I'm doing now. And as I'm going up, I'm building it lightly so that it's a bit thicker. What's wrong, my love? Huh? What's wrong? What's wrong, baby? What? 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 And we're blending. We're blending. And blend, but don't blend in. <laughs> Let me stop. So next I'm going to go into my BH Cosmetics X Daisy Marquez palette. And I'm going to go into the shade Daisy, which is like this pretty, I called it um, Tiffany Blue when I did a makeup look with it. But um, I would have liked a nice like light, really light sky blue, but this looks fine. So I'm just going to add it to the center of my lid a little bit over the blue, but not too much and building it. The reason why I like to use this brush, this is the JH43, it's because of the tip of the brush and it helps me kind of create like the shape where I want right by my crease and kind of keep it all together and like the same height on my eye if that makes sense so and then as I'm going I'm going back into the JH40 brush that has that shade cola and I'm just you know manipulating it to how I like Boom. Lastly, we're gonna go back into the James Charles palette. Take the shade called Flashback, which is the pure white of the palette, and that's gonna go right onto the inner corner. I didn't mean to flip y'all off. <laughs> I'm using this e.l.f. eyeliner brush to do so. And I'm just gonna build it up and... Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm going back into that JH43 brush with that remaining shade, Daisy, and I'm just gonna go in and blend it. I'm actually gonna take a little bit more of that Daisy shade, and I'm gonna make sure that it's apparent. She didn't disappear on us, you know? Boom. 
So I'm going to go into my NYX liquid liner. It's the white one. And I'm just going to create like my snowflake, my star. It's my snowflake, but I don't really know how to draw a snowflake. So I'm trying to figure out how to do the little things. But okay. So I'm going to start with the first line. And then I'm going to make it like a T. And I'm going to go across. And across like that. That is my attempt to add a um, snowflake. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to let that dry a little bit, but I'm going to talk about this for a second. So basically, I'm going to add a rhinestone to the center of our snowflake. Um, I got these from Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. I'll link them down below. And I just have to make sure it's the same size. So I think it's this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Kiss Strip Lash. Um, adhesive and this is already sticky the rhinestones because it's on a sheet but what I'm gonna do to make sure that it stays on and sis doesn't go anywhere while the liner is drying that we applied I am gonna just take the rhinestone and apply some of the lash glue onto it and let it sit for a second and then we're gonna apply it now my method of applying is not the best I <laughs> these rhinestones may end up in two different places but don't judge me i figured out what i did so basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna apply the um lash glue like right into the center of the snowflake and i'm gonna apply it like that so it just kind of sticks to the area that i want it doesn't have to be perfect Okay, that's where it's going to be because honestly, don't have the time. So, I'm going to go off camera and do the rest of my face. I'm just going to do my normal um, face routine. And then I'm going to come back to kind of finish off the eyes. So, I'm going to probably be doing like my lower lash line. I was thinking of something like kind of bold, like to go with like the idea of this bold look. So, stay tuned if you guys want to see me complete the look but yeah so i'm gonna go off camera do my face and then come back to finish up the eyes all right so we're pretty much finished with the face for now we had to get bronzed up and everything because uh... all right so we're gonna finish off the eyes so exciting so I think what I want to do first, I have so many different ideas in my head, but I think I'm going to stick to my like original thought. So I'm going to take some white eyeliner. It's dirty, but the packaging, but I'm going to take my ColourPop liner in shade Exit. It's white and I'm going to add that into my waterline. Oh my god the face that like we make when we put on eyeliner and our waterline is like insane <laughs> so if y'all could see how messy this vanity is it'd be insane i have to clean it so what i want to do i'm going to take the tropical twilight on the tamax revolution palette and I want to take the shade Starlight. Now, this is like a really nice glitter. Um, in me using this palette ever since I got it, like what, a month, two months ago, not even a month ago. Amazing. And this is one of my favorite shades in the palette. And it's like really silvery. So I really want to see what it's going to do. So I want to just apply that to my lower lash line, like pack it on to have like a glittery lower lash line oh my gosh <gasps> this is gorgeous
so this is gorgeous i don't know if you guys can see it because of the light but look at that gorgeous <gasps> i'm literally obsessed but what i wanted to say is that if you're gonna basically follow what i did um i'd use the elf complexion duo brush because i used this for the foundation and then to get the foundation and the highlight the concealer around like what i drew i used this end and it takes longer but it really helped get the precision and to not mess up anything so if you're gonna do that this brush was perfect i didn't record it because i was like i don't know how this is gonna go i may have to like scratch that restart but it was perfect so i added the glitter to the lower lash line and i'm obsessed so i'm gonna go in with my fenty beauty mascara i'm just gonna add some now you can add lashes if you want but i'm not my eyes get watery for no reason and then the lashes look like i don't know how to put them on which i don't but like it makes it look like 10 times worse so i'm like you know what we're gonna just stick to what we know i'm gonna add some to the lower lash line perfect now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna spritz my face with some cucumber water because i just did use like powder and everything and i don't want my face to be looking dry. I want it to look nice and refreshed and hydrated. And also, it makes for a good base when we're putting on our highlight. So for highlighter today, I think I want to go into my Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in shade Golden Flower Crown. Now, this obviously is golden, but that's just what I like to use for my skin tone. It's just like the perfect highlight. You can make it look really bold or just like really subtle and natural i'm kind of gonna go for like that glow from within vibe so you know so when i turn you're gonna see me glow but it's not crazy i am gonna use that the same brush that i did use for my bronzer and just kind of go over everything because i always do that i don't know why it's like a thing <laughs> and now time for the lips i'm actually happy with this it's fun and so easy like literally if i can do it you can do it i promise so i'm gonna go into my say bella um it's their lip liner perfecting lip liner crayon and it's in shade plum crazy like this that'd be a really cute shade for like all over the lid but i do want to make it an ombre so what i've been doing i've been taking my covergirl basically my highlighter concealer and i'll just add a little bit kind of press it in go back in with liner if need be to kind of you know, manipulate like the gradient to how you like it and the color. It's what you like. And then I'll leave it like that. And that is my perfect plum nude. And I'm gonna spin my face one more time with some cucumber water because hydration. Oh my god, I'm looking at it in the mirror and I'm so shocked that I actually did this. <gasps> Thank you guys so much for watching. That is it for this video and for this look. Let me know what you guys think of it. Proud of myself. I love the blue um, and I love my nude with it. And I'm just so happy with how this came out. So you guys let me know if you guys like this look and if you guys ever retry it. I don't know. I definitely uh, looked up on YouTube just like different versions of this look because... I know I wanted to do something with the snowflake. I just didn't know what direction I wanted to go into. And this is the direction that it took me. Um, 
so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more and i will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>